some people are afraid, well, if you're if the child has some kind of an accident, say they fall out of a tree or they or they almost drown while swimming, but somebody saves them. There's actually research that shows it does not have that effect. They don't become terribly afraid of the water after a scary incident in the water. They don't become terribly afraid of climbing just because they fell and hurt themselves one time. The worst thing, if a child has a kind of phobia, a fear of heights, a fear of water, a fear of this, the worst thing is for them not to ever be exposed to the thing that they're afraid of. One thing we know is the way you overcome fears is not by avoiding the feared thing, it's by confronting the feared thing. That's the old story, you know, if you fall off the horse, get back on it again, you know. So we, when we are protecting children, we are preventing them from, from overcoming whatever fears and phobias they may have. And it's one of the reasons that we've got such high rates of fears and phobias among young people today, because we're not allowing them to expose themselves in a gradual way to the things that they're frightened of.